Do you want another survival world on your server? Or maybe a world for Skyblock? Or maybe even a flat world for plots? Then Multiverse is the plugin for you. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Today I'll show you how to create your own custom worlds with the plugin Multiverse. In this video, I'll be going over how to create a world, some useful commands and how to delete your world as well. So let's get straight into it. Did you know only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed? Pfft, what? So if you aren't subscribed and you enjoy what you see, please consider subscribing. Help me hit that 3k, it would be amazing. Alright, so how do you create a world, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna show you. So you do slash mv create. And then you're gonna specify the name of your world. Um, I think I'm gonna name mine tutorial. Then you're gonna specify the type of world, so you can do like normal. That's like a normal world, you can do end, which is an end world, and you can do nether, of course. Um, let's just do a normal one. And then you can do dash T for type, and we can do something like a flat world, for example. You can also do large biomes, for example, or normal, or whatever, but we're gonna make a flat one. And enter and it's, it has created the world. All right, so now you can do something like MV list. See the different types of worlds that you have. Um, I have an unloaded one here for some reason. I don't know why, um, but this is our world here, tutorial. Um, you can do MV, TP, and then the world name to teleport to the world. And this is our flat world, look at this. We even got slimes and stuff. That's pretty much how you create a world. Now let's move on to some useful commands that I want to mention. So a command that's very helpful is slash mv help, of course, which will display all the different commands that are within the plugin. We have five pages, so in order to view the next page, you can do mv help two and three and four and so on. Another useful command is mv set spawn. This will set the spawn of your world, so whenever you TP to this world, you will be teleported right here. You can also do stuff like MV spawn to teleport to the spawn of the world. That is pretty useful as well. Another useful command is slash MV who. This will show a list of all the players on your server and what worlds they are in right now. And one of the last commands that I want to show is that you can do MV modify. And you can do a lot with this. You can also use the short version, which is just MVM. And then you can set stuff like animals false. So now there won't be any animals in your world. And of course, the same thing with monsters. And now we just got rid of everything. You can also do slash MV game rule, which will change the current game rule of this world only. So you can do stuff like do mob spawning false. And that's another way to change the spawns. Keep in mind that you have to get the caps letters right. Okay, if I do all small letters on this one, then it won't work. It'll say failure. Um, so keep that in mind. A useful command is just a normal game rule. And then you can just view all the different game rules here and how they're supposed to be spelled. Another thing I want to show you is that if you type in chat, then Multiverse might show the world name in front of your name in chat. And I'm going to show you how to disable that real quick. So I'm on Minehut right now, but it should work the same no matter what kind of host you're using. So if I go to File Manager and I go to Plugins and I go to Multiverse Core and then we have the different files here and I can open the config file and here is where you can change the prefix and stuff so as you can see right here it says prefix chat and you can just set that to false 
You can also change the prefix format here if you want to do that. And that's pretty much it. You just want to save the file and head back in game. And once you're back in game, you want to type MV reload. And then as you can see, the chat is fixed. Now to delete your world, you can do it two different ways. All right. You can do slash MV remove and then your world. But as this command says right here, it unloads the world from multiverse and removes it from the worlds.yml, which is the config file. This does not delete the world from the world folder. Okay, so it doesn't delete the world from your Minecraft server. If you want to completely delete your world, you do slash MV delete. And if you do that, you have to do slash MV confirm in order to do it. Now, there is an issue right now. I think it's because I'm in the world right now. It can't delete it, but that's how you delete your world. All right, so that was it for today's plugin tutorial. It's been a while since I've done my last plugin tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any further questions, make sure to join my Discord server and ask there. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.